You've already heard the news. iCarly is set to make a big splash this June with 13 brand new episodes featuring some of its most iconic characters. June 17th, But what exactly can we expect from this exciting first season? Welcome and welcome back everybody to the number one home for film and television lovers everywhere. Fans are already on the hunt for Easter eggs, inside jokes and more in this recently released trailer of the thrilling 2021 iCarly revival. Ready and in five. I'm Carly. Four. A stream of throwback images from the original run of iCarly flashes across the screen at the beginning of the trailer, preceded by Freddie Benson's iconic opening and Carly Shay's introductory, I'm Carly! In just a few short seconds, viewers witness a series of memorable scene snippets jam-packed with five years of iCarly. A voiceover announces, iCarly is going to be taking a break. As the images flood the screen, ending with a young Carly Shay who wears a wistful smile as she closes the lid of her laptop a touching throwback to the very end of the original iCarly show. But while hardcore fans are sure to remember the heartbreak they felt at the end of the original run, we certainly recall how we sobbed during the last scene. That's not what this video is all about. iCarly is back for good. And right now we are incredibly excited to share with you our thoughts on its uber new fun trailer. First, let's take a look at all the new characters we'll be meeting this season. Welcome to the new iCarly. The revival of the show will be bringing in two new cast members, Lacey Mosley and Jaden Triplett. Mosley, an American actress and comedian best known for her podcast Scam Goddess, go check it out, is going to be playing Harper, Carly's roommate and new best friend. Triplett is a budding star who will be portraying Millicent, Freddie's stepdaughter. They first show up in the trailer when Spencer and Carly are reenacting their iconic Baby Lumpley webcast, and Millicent says, I am weirdly loving this. <laughs> Millicent, who's super social media savvy, seems like the perfect person to assist Carly with increasing her online popularity. In fact, we've got a theory about all this new social media marketing. We'll help however we can. In a world where it's no longer 2010 and social media platforms not webcasting are all the rage, will Carly struggle to maintain her fans' interests amidst the TikTokers and Instagrammers competing for the public's love and attention? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Then we've got Harper, who joins Carly on the red carpet at the Seattle Fashion Fest. Who exactly is Harper? Bougie, self-centered, and fun. We already know that she's Carly's roommate and friend, but her appearance at the Fashion Fest makes us suspect she's something more. In fact, she looks at home in front of the flashing cameras, beaming wildly at the paparazzi as she confidently shoulders closer to Carly. Perhaps she's a stylist or a fashionista with her own intriguing level of fame. Harper certainly seems like she could be a fashionista. Her outfits throughout the revival trailer are proof of that. She first appears in a pale zip-up tank and gold choker necklace. Her nails painted the same pink as her shirt and her eyes accentuated by dark eyeshadow. She next appears in a gorgeous olive green top with translucent puff sleeves, gold hoop earrings, an ornate choker, and black leather bottoms. Like, I just got out of bed and was all, oops, I just blazed a trail. <laughs> In this very same scene, we also get a glimpse of her trendy apartment. Behind her is a countertop that proudly displays an impressive assortment of fancy heels and handbags. In any case, the Fashion Fest confirms that Carly's still living happily in Seattle. After the snippet of the Seattle Fashion Fest scene, the trailer moves on to a short clip of Carly posting and smiling in front of an Annie Warhol-esque artwork of herself, making a strange face while holding a cupcake. You think you can shoot me using that filter that makes my cheekbones all... Like an alien? A sexy alien. Off to the side are two funky sculptures cemented sideways to the wall. Stocky blue and purple cups filled with what looks to be milk and cereal. The word art is spelled out on top. Now, we don't want to make any huge assumptions, but those sculptures sure seem reminiscent of something Spencer Shea might have created. In fact, isn't he super rich now? It would certainly make sense to have some of his artwork featured in a museum. And knowing Carly and Spencer's tight relationship, it seems logical to assume they'd both want to help each other out with some positive publicity. Yeah, we're done. Perhaps this revival of iCarly will even explore the darker side of internet stardom. After all, 
Wasn't it Andy Warhol who inspired the famous phrase, 15 minutes of fame? Once again, this is just our theory. But perhaps this happy scene of Carly posting and snapping selfies in front of the artwork is just a superficial cover for a more sinister implication. The idea that fame, no matter how much, is fleeting. In any case, though, the characters sure seem to be living the high life. According to the trailer, life is looking up for almost everyone, and they all get to partake in the glitz and glamour of a wealthy, famous livelihood. Beyond the sneak peeks of renovated apartments, stylish outfits, and red carpets, fans also get to see a glimpse of, that's right, Freddy and the Shea siblings drinking champagne. Not only do they have real champagne glasses, but they also drink from expensive, heavy-bottomed glasses. Wow, what happened to the days of cheap foam cups and Sam drinking pickle juice straight from the jar. On the topic of Sam, we know that some of our viewers have been wondering about her absence recently. Janet McCurdy has spoken up about her disinterest in rejoining the cast. I quit a few years ago because I didn't want to do it. She said about her decision to leave entertainment on a recent episode of her podcast, Empty Inside. I was the main financial support for my family. My family didn't have a lot of money, and this was the way out. She adds later that she resents her career and is ashamed of many of the embarrassing roles she's played. We feel for you, McCurdy. Don't ever feel obligated to return because of peer pressure. McCurdy also makes an appearance on the Michaela Peterson podcast in December of 2020, mentioning that Dan Schneider, the executive producer of iCarly, was emotionally abusive towards his actors. Because I will tase her if necessary. Uh oh. I have the taser. We're not sure how big a part that played in McCurdy's decision to decline any roles in the new revival, but we respect her choice and hope that she heals from the traumas she suffered as a child actress. While Sam was a central character in the original run of iCarly, we're also very excited to see what newcomers Mosley and Triplett have in store. On a lighter note, other amusing cast members will be showing up during this brand new season. Melissa Benson, Freddie's mom, pops up during the champagne scene just to tell Freddie that she's left his warm milk in a thermos next to his bed. So are we done here? Neville Papperman, decked out in a glittery bow tie and fake metal arm. And now on iCarly, I will sing a song all about my webcast. Also appears in the trailer with a devious grin on his face. A web critic and main antagonist from the show's original run, he's holding a small black object that resembles a recording device. Well, it's either that or a taser, folks. So I guess we'll soon find out. I have a web show that I do. The second to last scene in the trailer opens up with a funny clip of Carly on what appears to be a date. The date, who is an unfortunately strange individual, manages to drive Carly off before any real appetizers have even arrived. Luckily, though, it seems like Freddy is having the same issues with his own romantic life. Yeah, we're done. As his mother shows up to tell him about the thermos she's prepared, just as he's talking to a pretty blonde woman in a gorgeous red jumpsuit. It seems like we might have to give some credibility, haha, <laughs> credibility, to the credit shippers who are hoping for more credit content. We gotta keep things spicy for the folks at home. <laughs> Can't say. Right, Miranda? Too yeah. juicy. This season, after all, in fact, the IMDb episode guide for iCarly Revival shows that episode 7 of this iconic reboot is titled, I Get a Divorce. If that's not a hint about what's to come for Freddy's romantic future, we don't know what is. Make sure to stay alert and keep on the lookout because we heard some rumors that iconic figures like Soko and Nora Dershlit will also be making a reappearance on the show. That's bound to incite even more drama. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Damn it. But for now, we're happy to just go crazy over all the juicy new content in the 2021 trailer. Leave a comment below if you've got any gripping theories that you haven't heard from us yet. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one in 5, 4, 3, 2, 